Nothing about the history or contemporary life in the West is simple. It's all quite complex, like much of human life. Before it was Colorado, this was Indian country, and it still is. If you want to make a difference in this world, bring Buffalo back. Instead of the women getting weak, they got strong. So my work has been about how do we make the beauty of life accessible to everyone. There's a point where it has to continue and you have to have young people with energy, with vision, who've learned lessons that want to make it better, but they also need the wisdom around them and the, the confidence that says, baby, go on, I, I believe in you. Even if you don't believe in yourself, I see something in you. There's no animal that's more iconic in the American West than the bison. And the fact that they've survived this attempt of almost being extinct is very similar to what happened to our people. And that we're still here, they're still here, we're growing, we're thriving. Women are the backbone of families, especially in the Hispanic families. They're the glue of the family. They play a huge role, yet they're kind of in the background. What we wanted was to be able to have a living wage. The way to get that was through a union. You'd be surprised what we women can do. At camp we do want a child's diagnosis to take a back seat to just being a kid and to put that out in the front. Kids diagnosed 20 to 50 years ago, they probably would have never been able to leave the hospital and there absolutely was nowhere that they could have gone. And the whole goal is to have a place where kids can be kids. There's no doubt that this part of the state of Colorado is the most polluted community, but we're pretty surprised, I guess, to be on one of the top lists for the country, because it's people don't think that about Colorado. And those interstates, when they went through the cities, went through cities that tended to be um, populated by people without the political power to say no. The freeway is not here for the convenience of the neighborhood. It's here for the convenience of everybody else. And so I think what I've been able to do is try to understand uh, humanity more and more and create work that, that addresses it. Finding joy in the everyday is extraordinary. Maybe we've come a long way, but there's so much more that is yet to be done. Colorado Experience, Thursdays at 7 on Rocky Mountain PBS.